All right, we're going. All right, what's going on, guys? We got the truck. Hopefully, I'm in frame here. I'm gonna flip y'all around. Apologize for any wind. Uh, it's not really that breezy. I wanted to do this quick because it will be here in a while. Uh, so we got the truck at home because we've been having a vibration between 40 and 55 miles an hour, and I think I finally figured it out. So come with me. Show you guys a little public service announcement, right? All right, so I was talking to a mechanic over at Rush, and because these Peterbilts, these 389s, this front axle sits out so much farther than most trucks, you know, your axle's pretty up close to the firewall on those, you know, aerodynamic trucks and whatnot like that. We ate up a set of steers in the matter of like a week. It started cupping on the inside. I'll show you where. It starts grooving in here, in this first tread. And once it starts that, you can't stop it. And, and, you, and you don't want that when you're going 80 miles an hour down the road. So, we had it lined up. Switch y'all around here. We had it lined up. We had the new steers put on it. We had them balanced. Then we had them rebalanced, because I didn't like the way they did it the first time. At the, at the shop I was at, so I took it to the one in Nebraska that I like. Shook it all down. It's got 128,000 on it right now. Uh, bought it April of 2018. It's now May of 2019, so a year and a month. And the guy said, you know what? You probably need shocks. I'm like, shocks, man? I said, mine aren't even leaking. And he said, yeah, with, and that's the tech I was talking to at Rush. He said, yeah, with that front axle out there, if it doesn't have enough downward motion, it'll come up off the ground and uh and create a vibration in the steering wheel because that's where i was getting it wasn't in the truck wasn't coming up through the floor it was right in the steering wheel i could feel it so that's what we did so check this out these are the new shocks i put on these monroe magnums which i think i'm gonna like they got a lot of downward force these are the can you see that these are the old ones the pack car ones that came off. Now, remember, this is just a year old, and you can see they're not leaking or anything. But you push them down with one hand, and that's how it stays. It will not extend. That shock is done. And you need shocks, or you're going to have vibrations. So, we went ahead and replaced the fronts, and then we're going to do the rears. Uh, like I said, these were kind of a real motherfucker to get on because they don't—they didn't come already compressed; they were already extended. And to get it, you know, down so I could get it on the studs was a real pain in the ass. But we changed them, and then the bushing in there that it rides on—that this bushing, or I should say, the bushing that this rubber grommet or whatever rides on—we went ahead and greased that with some red and tacky which is safe for rubber, won't make it swell or anything. That way when this is moving, you know, a little bit of grease just makes everything nice. Super easy to replace these shocks too, by the way. You could do this in a truck stop. I'm doing it on the, on the street at my house. You could do these at the truck stops. Just this stud is solid and there's a bushing in here. You see the lock nut there against the frame. Just pop these two 18 millimeter nuts off with the outside washers, slide the old shock off put the new shock on and then I'm getting ready to do the rears like I said I wanted to show you guys this video before I uh, before it got windy because we got some weather moving in and then the backs if you have the same suspension set up uh, same thing just a nut at the top right there and then you probably you can't see it but you can on the rear Yeah, the one top one nut at the top, and these are 24 millimeters is the nut size. And then one at the bottom. So zip the bottom one off, zip the top one off. Bob's your uncle. You changed the friggin' thing. I love, I love my cowbell. Everybody loves the name. So far, gotten good response. And then we got, we got the old 
buffer out. We're gonna throw some speed wax on the paint there and see if we can't get her to shine up a little bit. Y'all can see the wheels. It may look, look, I mean, it may look shiny right now, like you can see, but when he gets done polishing it on the 1st of June, this is gonna be like a mirror, man. It's gonna look way better. I think it'll look better than when it was new. Alrighty, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope this might help somebody out, and we'll catch you on the next vid.